Auto Line on the Road at Cars MBS has been brought to you by Mitsubishi Electric. With special thanks to the Center for Automotive Research. Mark Rakoski is the Vice President of Advanced Engineering at Mitsubishi Electric, and we've got a little bit of his work here in the background. Mark, it's good to see you, and tell me, what are you putting into this car? Because I know what's ever in here is not out on the street yet. This is all advanced stuff. Great to see you too, John, here in Traverse City. Uh, yes, this is our project Firebird, codenamed Firebird, and it's our second step at an in-cabin digital experience for the vehicle. As you can see, the brains behind the the product is here and it is a proof of concept, but this concept can go to mass production uh, very soon. So tell us, what are you trying to prove concept-wise? Sure, again, the, the Firebird project is more of a midstream project. We're just showing a few displays and running on a uh, Android 10 platform with a uh, hypervisor solution. So we're taking into account what is the cockpit of the future in terms of the number of screens, the safety aspects, and also driving it with an optimized solution uh, in terms of cost and performance. Now I know this is a concept, I know you're still working on it, you've got this big screen on the center of the instrument panel and it rotates too. Yeah, so that's the design team uh, that came up with it is sometimes uh, things look better in portrait, sometimes they look better in landscape and we thought let's just go with this and have fun and uh, we actually have a patented application where the screen can rotate uh, based on your preferences or we'll set the preference based on which application is where it looks better as a uh, portrait or landscape. Yeah, I totally agree with you. For navigation, for example, I prefer portrait. That, yes. that, that's me. So I love the, uh, the fact that you got that choice. Right, and the personalization obviously is going to be there as well. Okay, there's one display. What else are you working on? Um, and it also ties into the, uh, uh, the center stack ties into also the uh, uh, cluster so those are working together and it's all driven off one uh, SOC so obviously the look and feel is very much the same and it's not the and most SOC is uh, system on a chip and it's run by Qualcomm and it's not their most powerful we did previously some other applications with more powerful but this is more mainstream which is more near to what we would call mainstream vehicles that don't have six eight ten elaborate screens it's more like three screens uh -huh. we also are including a uh, camera front camera and uh, DMS camera looking into the vehicle as well. Okay, for a driver monitoring system. Driver monitoring along with uh, video chats and other things that we can do with these new improved camera systems in the vehicle, right, as our office and vehicle become, become one. Mark, how does this work? Do OEMs come to you and say, hey, what can you give us? Or do you guys play in your toy box, come up with cool ideas and say, hey, do you want this? It's a little bit of both, but usually we brainstorm um, and do ideation workshops and try to get it to the customer to show our leadership and then they can use that to implement into their vehicle. So we want to show them that we have ideas outside of what they may be thinking. And what kind of feedback are you getting from customers? What do they want? Uh, all the above, right? More feature, more user experience, better content, right? And there are, there's a lot of competition to get caught up with the mobile industry and provide these safe, secure features with bigger screens that the vehicle can provide. Um, and also bring in apps that are, you know, we're comfortable with now, such as Alexa, and Spotify, which are included on this demonstration. I know in previous uh, presentations, you've shown how the screens can all show everything for anybody in the car or individually, or you can sort of reconfigure it as you want. That's correct. You know, and this with less screens, obviously the, the, the screen in front of the driver is not a touch screen, but the, the rotating digital screen can be a touch screen and can be configured accordingly by the driver or the passenger, depending on how you want to accomplish something. And I got to believe with the big screen, something like that is perfect for the commercial market. Yes, uh, commercial markets becoming very important as well in terms of safety and content that they need. Um, and there's obviously a huge uh, shortage of drivers in, in the market, so we have to provide that as well. Very interesting. Anything else that we're missing on this car? Uh, no, just the fact of it's very personalized. It is a mainstream solution and the fact that it's going to be bits and pieces of this technology going into production very soon. Oh, so we'll have the rotating screen maybe in a vehicle? Potentially. Um, that takes some uh, engineering work behind it in terms of uh, crash and everything else, but the concepts of the platform, obviously Android 10 is in production and we'll, we'll continue to build on it as well. Maybe a couple of years, something yes, sir. like that? Okay, so <laughs> there you go, folks. A little glimpse of the future from Mitsubishi Electric. Thanks, John. You got it.